Hi, I'm not Daniela, I'm Barbara Rangel, the teacher of uh, Daniela. We um, are developing in the Master of Industrial Design in Faculty of Engineering in Uni University of Porto, a series of portos of projects uh, integrated in the Community Service Engineer project, uh, European project that we have been working in. And um, the challenge that was uh, put it to me when I got into this project was to find the a vulnerable group to work with. And I found I, there was lots of uh, projects with uh, disabled people, so I tried to find another one. And uh, the one that I was trying to find was, it was really easy in Portugal, I can say, um, was to work with, uh, or to, to unemployed people and homeless people. Instead of giving, giving them an object or thinking in an object for them to make, I asked my students to create opportunities to these unemployed people. And we worked with a really interesting group, this one, Vida Comart. They are all homeless, but they are artists and they don't want uh, us to design a shelter for them. They want us to think in an opportunity for them to get their lives together like ours. There was the city, I don't know if you've even been to Porto, there's a city next by Porto Matosinhos. It's a, a fishing city. It's just next to the sea. I, we have really good restaurants over there. Probably you have been there, fishing re and uh, seafood restaurants, really good. So the, the industry, uh, the biggest industry in that city are the restaurants. So I, because we didn't have money to, to buy uh, raw materials, I asked my students to make an analysis of what raw materials, of what waste this industry could give us. So the idea was we have to find the waste, it would, could be our material. The designers, the group, we, could, we had to think in a product, we had to think in a, a, a way to make it, a really easy and uh, uh, low-tech low and low-cost way for them, this group, of this vulnerable group, be able to make it and then sell it to the tourism or museums in the city. So this was the challenge that I made to my students. Last year, I chose in the same Congress the beginning of this project and uh, afterwards, some of the students made uh, their thesis on the, the, the first projects they made because they were really involved in the, the projects last year. This student uh, thought in the fishing nets. The fishing nets are a problem, as you know, in, in our seas. The oceans uh, represent 72% of the Earth's surface and 8 million tons of plastic are dumped into the, sh the sea annually. So we have lots of uh, uh, raw material that can be used uh, if we think in what is deposited in the sea. A problem that's now uh, being trying to be uh, dealt in the, in, in the scientific technology is the ghost fishing. We have lots of lost nets in the, in the sea and animals like turtles or dolphins are, uh, how do you say, caught, caught in those nets. So it will destruct a lot of habitats in uh, the sea, unfortunately. <coughs> Sorry. This, the, the project last year started as a group. They, s they went to, to the seaside, to the place where their boats are. They've, they collected all their fishing nets and the ropes that the fishermen gave them and tried to uh, make uh, processes of, uh, uh, and uh, products with those, that material. Using glue, using another fabric, 
And some of them came out uh, really interesting, like these uh, tables, these uh, uh, pots to put fruit made out with the nets, and other these ones. But then, in this last year, in the thesis, uh, the object, the the um, the task that I wanted to put them, I tr I tried to be more difficult. They had to. This student, Daniela, she had to think in a, in a way in, uh, that she could transform that nets and make a new article. It has to be, again, a low-cost technology. So she made a collection of the nets again. We made a, a test of each kind of net. Identificate, uh, trying to identificate what kind of material could it be, and then to r then realize the, the the capacities of which one of them. We we found out that high density polyethylene was the most used, and it c it would be the one that could be uh, easier to transform and create a new product. We made uh, uh, lots of tests in injecting, in vertical injection, with this new mold. It's, it was just uh, warmed in the kitchen pot <laughs> and put it in an injection mold. And then we could try, we, it w we w were able to make these pieces, these plastic pieces, out of these really uh, cheap materials. We made then a uh, testing with a silicone mold, again with the same uh, really uh, simple technology with those materials that we have found. And if we realized that it, it came out uh, an interesting uh, texture and uh, an interesting uh, uh, durability of the, 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 the material that came out of, the, of, of it. Although we don't have enough uh, uh, um, equipment to develop this, this study of the, the, raw, the this new raw material, she made a literature review to, to find out which could be uh, helpful to, um, to make it this uh, material better. And we found out that hemp fibers would could be a very uh, helpful to consolidate uh, the uh, HDPE uh, because HDPE, when it's recycled, it loses their mechanical properties. So she studied and she studied and found these two companies that are uh, already making uh, textiles and, f and products with the fishnets, ones that we know, like the Levi's jeans, or uh, carpets in some hotels that we know, or some bathing suits for Adidas, so it's, we are making it. Or, for instance, this skateboard made all out of, of uh, uh, fishnets. Now we are, th she's developing uh, her prototype, so we don't have, uh, sorry, I don't have the photos of here, I just have the, the, the project. And I, the idea is to make a, b a bag that you can carry your things to the, the beach. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that you went to the beach and you if you have lots of kids, you have lots of toys. And mm -hmm. when they're playing, you want to be resting for five minutes, so you have to you want to lie down for fi those five minutes. So the idea is to make uh, a bag that you can rest a, a while. So you have your bag in your bag, and then you can put it here, and you can rest for those five minutes. So here, here are the idea of all the concepts that are being generated. It's a really simple uh, uh, plan made out of this technology that we found out and then you just have a net in the other side just to put the toys. It's just a, like here, you see. It's less like a backpack to go to the to the beach. It's called uh, Baia Praia. Baia in 
Praia's Beach. And Baia is the, nom uh, the name of a fish. And in Porto, we change the V for with the B. And uh, everybody in Portugal says, ah, you change the V with the B. It's like, <laughs> you don't know how to speak. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we call it Baia Praia just to provoke. <laughs> <laughs> the conclusions that uh, we can make out of this uh, this work is this kind of uh, um, production has uh, a future. I think we still have to uh, to to study deeper. How can we make this HDP more uh, uh, the characteristics and properties get higher with with other uh, uh, materials? And the use of recycled materials has to be an alternative to, uh, to the future and to uh, carry on with our world, I can say. And thanks for your attention. <laughs>